Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today I got to show you a disturbing video. They're coming after our young women and they're coming after our children. Please watch this video. Holy shit! What? I've just had a transgender operation. Ah! Holy shit! Holy shit! What? I'm holy sh holy shit holy shit what I just had holy shit holy shit I just had holy shit just had a drink holy shit holy shit I just had a holy shit 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 the transgender operation holy shit holy shit holy shit holy shit holy shit holy shit I just had a transgender operation holy shit what holy shit holy shit transgender operation holy shit what I just had holy shit 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 holy shit
Let me say this, man. Some people want to stay blind to this forever. Some people just want to say, you know what? I'm just going to turn a blind eye to all of this. Do you care? I have to ask myself this question before. Do I care? Because there's been a time in my life where I turned a blind eye to all of this. And there's stuff in my life that I, I'll, I'll be honest, that I need to look more into and I'm trying to do better. I used to foolishly think that this stuff wasn't happening, that this stuff wasn't going on. But these last five years of my life, I've really tried to look into it, even when I didn't want to stand on it. Even though when I was just kind of like, uh, you know, because I didn't know how bad it was getting. I thought this was so rare. But it's getting more and more and more. And my question to you or to myself, heck, at what point do you start saying something? At what point does it, does it cross the line? How many more girls does this have to happen to? How many more women does this have to happen to for it to matter? What percentage do you need to see? Does it need to be 1%, 2 3 30 40 Because I promise you, if it starts to continue to climb like it is, it's going to be so far gone. We're going to have to really have something on our hands here. So we need to start taking this seriously every single day. Because what you're seeing and what they want you to believe is that somebody's just changing their body parts, none of your business. But what they aren't showing you is this: when does this start to happen? When these people are very young, where does it start to happen? On social media sites. I would say just TikTok. TikTok is the biggest culprit. But I've been seeing this stuff on Facebook. I've been seeing this stuff on Instagram. And you know you already see it on Twitter. So everywhere you go, these young kids are starting to see this. And that's why I say... TikTok being the biggest culprit because TikTok is really, really targeting the children now. It is targeting the children, not to only, and they do it with fancy, fancy stuff like this trans BC. We don't, they don't just sometimes openly do it. They'll have some, they'll put something in there. They'll make something a trend. And then people will start going after that. Right. Some people will just do something that's just to be able to go, oh, my God, I just had a trend. And they'll be able to make some funny little video, some funny little clip on there, get their few hundred views, maybe a million. And they'll feel like they're on top of the world. And that's what we've been doing to our young kids, manipulating them, believing that they aren't what they say they are. We're manipulating women and say that you're not what you say you are. Oh, I know being a woman has nothing to do with your body parts, but go ahead and go ahead and. Get a double mastectomy. Go ahead and take your breasts off to where you may never be able to breastfeed. Go ahead and do something to your genitals. Yeah, we understand you'll never probably be able to have a kid, but who needs a kid, right? Everybody's happy as heck without having a child. You don't need any of that. All you need is love and sex. Let's be honest with ourselves. Isn't that what we, all we need? They don't, I'm not even going to put money in there because a lot of these people we saw in this video aren't making, obviously, millions of dollars. All they tell you that you need is what is love and sex, right? Have sex with who you want, love who you want. And that's all it boils down to. And don't worry about the reproduction. Don't worry about any of this stuff. We got contraceptives. We got condoms. We got all this stuff. Love and sex is all you need to worry about. And when you go into that surgery and you have your breast removed, then you go make a funny little TikTok and say, holy shit. I just had a. People think it's a joke. People think it's funny. And that's why I try to be as serious as I can. I try to throw in jokes here and there, but I try never to make every single thing a joke because it is, it is serious and uh, it's sad to watch because we're obviously, we're all going to have people in our lives where we're going to see a young girl that we knew had this happen and then they're going to make a video when they're 18, 19 years old talking about how it's one of the worst decisions of their life. And then that's when we're going to come out and say, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I'm so sorry all this. But we were all silent when they were 12. We were saying, oh, yeah, you can be a boy. You're a boy. People don't understand how dangerous their words are, too. Outside of these TikToks, when you're talking to a young girl and you're talking about her being a boy or she likes to hang out with the boys and all this kind of stuff, you might you start making it seem like everything a little girl does is she wants to play football and she wants to go skateboarding or she wants to do all some things that are considered masculine. Y'all start calling her this and that. Y'all start saying, oh, she likes to be with the boys. And you start, when you start putting that in a child's mind that everything they do, they might as well be a boy, guess what ends up happening? They start acting more like a boy and they start wishing they were a boy. I dated a girl one time who, when she was young, she got mistaken for a boy a lot because she looked like a boy. 
one time somebody had said to her, um, they were she was with her father, right? And then she was with her father and she's with her brother. And somebody walked up and said, Oh, your two little boys are handsome. And according to her, her father at that moment did not say, That's my daughter, not my son. So instead of correcting that, she held on to that to this day. She would dress like a boy, act like a boy, and wish she was a boy. She didn't go have any surgeries or anything because of her beliefs, but a lot of her wished that she was a boy. All because of that one moment. Stop doing this to your kids. Stop making your little girl feel weird because she wants to go hang out with the boys. Stop making your son feel weird because he's a little bit more feminine than you are like. I understand this kind of stuff. I was a feminine boy. Very feminine. My father did not like it. My father's a wonderful father. He had his problems, but he's grown out of those. But my father didn't like when I was feminine, when I hung out with girls, when I played with dolls, even though when I saw it, I didn't think of it being feminine. I used to play with Barbie dolls because they were characters. That's all I thought. I thought a Barbie was a girl and I thought Ken was a guy and I just played with them like mother and father. That's just what I did. But my father hated it. He thought I was going to be this and that. And when I hung out with women, he thought I was going to be this and that. That could have destroyed me if I had grown up during this time with TikToks and all that. Oh, I have no I have no doubts that I would have been questioning my identity. But thank God I had a strong male support group growing up and I didn't have to get subjected to all this social media that's thrown in my face constantly. I'm a grown man. It, even I can get caught up in this social media stuff so easily. Guys, look out for your children. Watch the words that you say because they're coming after your kids and they're coming after our women and they'll see anything to have it destroyed. You got to ask yourself, what is the purpose of all this? Is it truly about love and acceptance? If it truly is, why did they have to change so much? If this isn't about going after our kids, why are they fighting so hard for our kids to have surgeries as child children? Why can't they wait? Because they want you to believe that the kids are going to take their life. They want you to believe all this nonsense. They want to destroy the family. They want to destroy any separation we have between our kids and sex. Let's be honest with ourselves. We know what kind of people they are. Just, just look after your people.